Hey everybody, Darlene here at Petal Academy. Thanks so much for tuning into our Flower Fact Friday. Today I'm gonna to talk about a couple of my favorite foliages and it's eucalyptus. And it's two types of varieties that I'm gonna talk about today. This one here that I've got is a Cineria version of eucalyptus. And I'm gonna hold that up to the camera just so you can see. So it's got a smaller, little round shaped leaf on the stem. What I love about the scenario is oftentimes it almost has like an arrow shape little leaf and it sometimes has almost like an autumn shade on the top so it'll kind of go into those red tones and look at the branch that you get like it's just this at this time of the year it is huge. They pretty much come all year round but at certain times of the year they're just amazing so and right now is fall winter for this little guy so um, they are just looking spectacular right now so this is scenario the other version of eucalyptus I'm going to talk about is seeded eucalyptus and that's this guy here okay so it's got these gorgeous lush seeds on these beautiful branches and it's got this really delicate sort of tear shape foliage accent on there. Now oftentimes you'll see seeded eucalyptus being used in garlands but you can use it in just a vase, you can use it in centerpieces, you can use it in outdoor urns. It often comes dyed as well so you can see it in like right now they're doing it in metallic so gold, silvers, burgundies is typically what you'll see if it's got a bit of a color on it and in the fall time it has a natural sort of burgundy that'll come across its bloom as well which is really cool to see so watch for that. Longevity wise, eucalyptus, both varieties, how we usually process them is we'll take off any greens that are gonna hit the water and we'll cut them on an angle, put them in lukewarm water with a little bit of preservative. They should last you between seven and 14 days depending on your water level. You gotta keep an eye on that water. They like a fresh cut and nice clean water. So that's your key for performance. They also will dry amazingly well. So if you don't want to, you know, worry about the water level, you can kind of just leave it on the low side and they'll pretty much dry exactly as they are, especially this scenario. Um, but the seeded eucalyptus dries really well as well. So give these two a try. So now you know what to call them. We'll be talking about lots of different varieties of eucalyptus and believe me, there's a lot of them. So tune in. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out petalacademy.com for all things floral and check out our Instagram and Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, live life in full bloom.